That Force Radio. That Force Radio is rated M for mature. Or should that be immature? Hello, welcome back. Guess who's back? <laughs> <laughs> Grumps and Grams, episode 26. I'm Gramps from Dallas, Texas. I'm Grumps from New York City. And uh, we're reunited and it feels so good. Yeah. <laughs> it has been a while. Yeah, man. How, how have you been? Uh, good, busy, you know. Beat up. Um, How's the new broke. boiler working? <laughs> oh, works great. <laughs> boiler, water heater, works great. <laughs> um, not even a uh, boiler. What is it? Uh, converted to gas. So, yeah. You know, whatever. Um, yeah, it was pretty cold here for a couple of weeks. Like, <laughs> cold and stinky, no showers. Man, I was struggling. So. <laughs> Yeah, I told you that one story. Um, our hot water tank went out, and for like a week, my wife and I had to literally get up and go to the gym at like <laughs> six o'clock in the morning. Oh, god, take showers and go to work for like a week till they got a new hot water tank. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, like, I was- I wish I could have done that. I was doing a boiling water and you know bird baths. And, oh man! <laughs> or just going without, you know, <laughs> for a day or two. Like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, listen to this. Uh, a couple weekend weekends ago, on a Saturday, my wife and I woke up and. The power on the house was off. Mm. And this this happens in this neighborhood. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe we're on some old transformer or some part of the grid that like this whole side of the street power be off. On the other side of the street, full power. That's what happened, uh, you know, during that Texas winter freeze storm that yeah. half the state was, well, actually all the state was under below freezing. All these homes, like my home and all these other homes were without power for like four days. People across the street never lost power. It's crazy. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. Um, huh. So we woke up a couple weekends ago, no power on in the house. <laughs> and you get online, check your phone, and see when Encore is going to have an estimate for when the power will be back on. They keep saying, well, you know, probably about 10 o'clock, 10.30. Mm. Mm. No estimated time. And it was probably about 10.30. And I'm just laying in the living room. Um, Louie, the dog, is right next to me. Amber's checking her phone for when um, power is going to come back on. And the dog has to pee. So I take him outside. And he's doing his business. Well, then the wife comes out. And we hang out a little while out there. It's still relatively cool in the morning. It's not hot yet. <clears throat> I go to walk back inside. She locked the door. <laughs> so 
<laughs> We're locked out of the house. No phones. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah. We had to borrow a phone from the neighbor to call a locksmith. <laughs> oh. No. Yeah. But isn't it funny how, and the power still wasn't on when they came in. And it wasn't on for like another hour or two, but it's like all it takes is a few hours and you feel like you're back in the 18th century. <laughs> I was going to ask if you had a generator, but you would have no. mentioned that by now. So. <laughs> Um, I'm going to get one. Uh, Yeah, I had, you know, people working here and tearing up my basement. And, man, it was like, it was just like, you know, you know how it is. You got getting dust on your figs. Oh, yeah, dust. And people, oh, what's this? And, oh, oh, wow, you got a lot of stuff. I'm like, oh, God, just leave me the hell alone. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was that time. I don't, did I tell you about the time when we had to get our foundation worked on? Yeah. They literally <laughs> had to come inside the house and dig holes in the foundation to jack it up from the inside. <clears throat> we literally had to move everything into the garage. Mm. Um, it sucked. I mean, dust everywhere. And dust all on statues and everything, but yeah, yep. you know, crazy. That's what I've been, but uh, still living fig life. There's still figs coming and going. Not so much going, but coming. <laughs> yeah, um, it's been, I don't know what, but it's been a while since we've been able to talk on here. And like I was telling you before uh, the show, man, <laughs> it's been nuts. Uh, yeah. I, I keep telling the wife, oh, these are just pre-orders that have finally drawn <laughs> from two years ago. That, part of that's true. Part of that's true because um, I got in a huge Thundercats haul. Oh, okay. And, uh, wow. let me, yeah. And got this bad boy in. Did you watch that Thundercats was... as a kid? Oh, hell yeah. I loved it. Absolutely yeah. loved it. Yeah. And I mean, these look straight out of the cartoon. Yeah. Even has a, a wired cape so you can pose it all up. And this dude is huge. He's yeah. taller than the Clayface figure. Really? Okay. Yeah. he He's huge. And um, then I also got... This is my favorite Thundercat figure. Yeah, I really like that figure. Um, he was always my favorite character. Um, I don't know if you would like these figures because they're not that articulated. I mean, they've got I like the yeah. Lionel. Yeah, Lionel's good. That's the only one I have, but I really I, I canceled the pre-orders for these figures because just. For financial reasons, but I think they look great. Yeah, they look great. Um, they only have like single, single yeah. joints though. Um, Bat Force Times talked me into getting her. I mean, you kind of oh, have okay. to have the whole collection. Yeah. Once you start going down that road, um, one of the coolest figures I always liked was Linkso. Okay, yeah, I like that guy. He's kind of like the daredevil of the group, you know. He's blind Mm and um, uses sound as kind of his enhanced uh, radar. And then, of course, you got to have a bad guy, and I got Monkey on. Did you get all of the bad guys? Yeah. Okay, because I know one or two of them was hard to find. Yeah. Um, Oh, uh, Jackalman, I think. It's hard to get. Yeah. I didn't get, um, who was it? Pumra, the Thundercat version of Mumra, whenever he sneaks into the 
castle. I didn't get him oh. yet. And I didn't get the uh, the robot pirate guy. Okay. I just wanted to stay with kind of the the OG the characters. Yeah, the core. What Although, about um, Slide? Yeah, oh yeah, I got Slide. Yeah, I heard that was a really good one. Yeah, he is really good. Um, and then really looking forward to whenever those Silverhawks come out too. Um, oh, you pre-ordered them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I had to, man. I mean, yeah. that was that was my jam. Yeah, um, I have the old ones. Yeah, I, I, I could never get those as a kid. Mm. What sucks about those is that the metallic silver stuff starts coming off after yeah. a while. I think my favorite was like from the second series, or the green one. Mm. Really like that one. Yeah. So yeah, these all showed up in like one big box. From uh okay. Yeah, from uh, a big store. Yeah. That doesn't sponsor <laughs> us yet. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> but it was like holy shit. Yeah. Um oh I <laughs> I told myself I wasn't gonna do this. But I got talked into uh, buying this line, this wave, strictly because I wanted that Carrie Kelly so bad. Oh. How and do then you when like I got, it? yeah, she's great. I actually, um, just today, now the thing is, I love Carrie Kelly. Mm-hmm. I hate the small little head on Batman. Joker, his head is terrible. Superman, his head is terrible. Yeah, yeah. So I bought a custom head for Batman and okay. I bought some custom capes nice. for Batman and Carrie Kelly. And those just arrived today. So here's the okay. Carrie Kelly cape and the Batman cape. It's wired. All right. And I got those from Ink Drop Customs. Look him up. Nice. Super yeah, nice guy. Super cool guy. He's got a great mm. YouTube yeah, channel okay. that shows. He, I mean, he, he literally shows you how he makes these. Oh, okay. um, goes step by Ink, step. Ink Drop. Ink Drop. Yep. All right. Let me look it up. And, um, man, I'm telling you what, the quality on this Batman cape is so good. I mean, you could tell he takes his time to sew it precisely how you want it. I mean, he'll do it with pleats. It has, like, pleats Mm. or no pleats, but the pleats kind of work, you know, best for Batman. Um... Carrie, I didn't want pleats in her cape. Okay. Yeah. You know how they they came in like the Mayfix? Yes. Yeah. Just, just didn't like that at all. No. I'm with you on that. Yeah. In fact, I may get him to do another one to to replace that cape. Um, her cape's wired too. Um, yeah. I mean, super cool guy. Got these made. Sent to me. I got them in probably a week. But. Speaking of that, Mayfix, uh, carry color. I wish I could get another one. Make a, like a Dick Grayson. But, uh, that's True. Really too pricey. Yeah. Too pricey. Yeah. I've been, I was looking on eBay for another one of her and I found one, but they wanted literally almost the price of the full set. Get I was like, you're a kid. You get out of here. No. I just buy the whole set. Why do I need this? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so I got sucked into the McFarlane DKR wave. Mm. Um, horse is pretty How's cool. the horse? Oh. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I um, Right now I'm working on custom painting it up a little bit. Okay. I need to... I've been working on the saddle. 
and then I want to add like some dirt kind of on the foot. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it'll work good. Um, Joker, I don't know what I'm going to do. I saw, I think it was Ink Drop did a, did a tutorial where he converts the Joker into a Bruce Wayne. He takes really? a head off of, I think, some Marvel Legends figure and repaints it so it kind of looks like a Bruce Wayne. Yeah. All right. Um, but then you got to paint the whole suit, right? Yeah, you got to paint the whole suit, which he does with like an airbrush. Okay. Because, I mean, here's the figure. Um, I don't know how well you can see it. Yeah. But it, the face is very like anime looking. Mm. It doesn't look anything like the comet. And I'm and it's actually kind of small compared to the rest of his body. But I'm thinking like, you know how Joker always like Joker gasses his victims and they their yeah. freezes are stuck. I'm thinking of using that for this this head. Okay. Putting yeah, it on gotcha. a different figure. It might work on a legends or something if it's smaller, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> it may be a little bit bigger than a it may work good for like a Mezco. Mm, okay. Um or a bigger sized Marvel Legends, but that's what I may do. I mean because I, I want a Joker victim figure. Yeah, that's a good idea. I got this. Oh, that's actually a really good looking figure. Yeah, it, uh, you know, it looks good. Suffers from the same, you know, McFarlane complaints or whatever, but uh, it's cool. I mean, do you think that it really captures Tony Daniels' artwork in R.I.P.? Was it R.I.P. or? Yeah, it was R.I.P. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, I think the the face sculpt is a good representation of his art. I feel like that head sculpt on that is probably one of the better Batman McFarlane head sculpts. Yes. I'm like, why didn't they do this for all of them? Yeah. Um, Especially the year two. Yeah. I ordered the unmasked version from McFarland store and whatever. I have a, you know, I have a Zur and R collection. So, Mm -hmm. whatever. I just (laughs) charge it to the game and keep moving. No, I I saw that and I was like, wow, that's really cool. Um, I can't believe they actually made that figure. I know, yeah. Because Um, it's such a niche version, you know? (laughs) I mean, um, a lot of people won't get it. They'll be like, why why is Batman dressed like this? Unless they've actually (laughs) read. The Rainbow Batman. (laughs) Yeah, I know. I went to the Target and I saw a couple after I had pre-ordered. I saw a couple on the shelf, and it wasn't there the next time I went back. So I was like, oh, you know, somebody grabbed it up. Um, because Penguin and Superman and and somebody else have been sitting there for a while. Lex Luthor, yeah. Oh, you can get that Lex Luthor for cheap now. Yeah. Online, I, I saw a website that has him for sale, and I mean, that's actually a really cool figure. Um, yeah, the armored one, yeah, mm-hmm. it even comes with alternate hands, too. So, you're Which not is stuck rare with, from the farm, yeah. You're not, they've started doing that a lot more, and I'm glad that they did this with uh, the DKR line. Um, so yeah, normally you get like one closed fist and then one like action yeah. hand. And 
but with him you get two sets of hands so it's actually a good looking figure i saw a uh, general zod the other day okay and um looked pretty good i may wait till it gets goes on sale which sounds cheap to say i mean they're only like 20 dollar figures but when there's so many of them it's like yeah I'll wait till they go on sale. So. Um, here's a figure that I've been waiting. Oh my gosh. Almost 40 years to come out. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I can literally right. say that because this was like the first. I don't even know if he's considered a superhero, but the first like action hero that i remember reading in the newspaper you know when i was growing up you know the we had a newspaper back subscription. in my day back in my day <laughs> we had a new newspaper and that newspaper <laughs> had news pa- printed on the paper <laughs> and had a comic section right mm. so as a kid that's obviously my first part that i read and sundays were actually special because the comics were in color yeah so i remember reading this character and i couldn't wait until sunday to get the color versions and it was uh phantom the ghost who walks i love the phantom um so I've always wanted a great action figure, fully posable, fully articulated, mm. come with the the rings, the guns, the the you know the stirrups on the side that hold the guns. And this came out recently from NECA. First, they put out the uh, what was that the Defenders of the Earth Defenders of the Earth. Flash yeah. Gordon, and it was not this version, you know. Yeah. Um, I still have. He didn't have the underwear, right? Right. He didn't have the underwear. Yeah. He didn't have the holsters. Um, he only had like one set of hands. Um, I was like, ah, oh, I like it. I got it, but I was like, you know, it it wasn't the one I wanted. Yeah. And then they I'm... announced they're coming out with this one. So I got three of them. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I got plans. I only saw, I think, Ming the Merciless, the new one. Um, that's the only one I saw in store. I haven't yeah. seen this. And the boxes are really cool. Yeah. Uh, Nick has really done a awesome job with their newest releases. Um, yeah. I mean, it almost makes you want to just keep it in the box. And yeah. I'm not a mint in box collector. I, I like to take my figures out, but that's one reason why I picked up a third one because I was like, man, I may want to just keep it in the box. <laughs> and um, I got Ming too. Okay. He looks great. He actually comes with a um, separate head. Wow, nice. So I may actually use that separate head where he's bald as kind of with another. <coughs> another figure you know he can be like a a, i don't know gangster or something and And how much are these oh i want to see north of 30 probably about 35 um which is think an increase in their their line i guess they've always kind of been a little bit between 30 and 45 dollars i i just i got one of their predators recently the the battle damaged one Mm. and he was like 37 but yeah that's that's in their range but the i can justify it because with neca They've gone to 
like a digital paint application. Yeah. Teases was talking about how, I mean, literally they are all identical. There's no one offs where where an eye's going this way or yeah. some kind of smudge. I mean, so I guess that's a, you know kind of a premium service. So you're going to pay a premium price for it. But I mean, I, I'm not complaining because they all look great. Um, yeah, I actually picked up one for a buddy and gave it to him for his birthday. Nice. But yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Moment. Oh, yeah, I gotta get that guy. I just happen to have him right here. Oh, nice. Look at this box, man. I know. Yeah, they're great. I mean, this is something you want to leave in the box, too. I mean, this, there's no way I'm gonna get rid of this box. No, this I box. got mine in the box, uh, Wolfman and Frankenstein. Yeah, I mean, it's. It's amazing. So, yeah, I picked up a second mummy. I got two mummies now because I want to kind of build a scene with the mummies. Plus, okay, around Halloween time, you, you can never have too many mummies. <laughs> yeah. Especially with uh, um, now my mum raw. He may have an army of mummies. Wow, that's cool. Good idea. All right, what else did you pick up here recently? Oh man, I got a, a couple of little, a lot of stuff. Like like you were saying earlier, um, I have uh, this in my hand. Eartha Kit, Catwoman. Eartha Kit, Batman sixty six. That's yeah. I mean, that's such a cool figure. It's I really mean, nice. Yeah. But uh, limited articulation, right? I mean, that's, you know, the legs just move straight like that. There's no movement at the hip or anything. Um, Are the knees articulated? Oh, okay. Single jointed, you know, 90 degrees, whatever. Yeah. Single jointed elbows. But, I mean, the sculpt is nice. You're not going to get another Earth of Kid Catwoman figure for, I don't know, you know, God knows how long. Right? So. Does she have straight eyes or are they looking away? These, it's hard to tell because of the mask. I think they're straight, though. Okay. Um, yeah, you're right. I mean, that's such a a novelty figure. I told you I have the, the Christmas ornament, the Hallmark Christmas yeah. ornament. Um, but, yeah, I need to find one of those. That's really cool. And... Uh, I got this uh, this portal that came with Doctor Strange. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Multiverse of Madness, Doctor Defender Strange. <laughs> uh, he looks pretty cool, but I really wanted the portal. Right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I tried to I posted a couple of pictures in my stories with the portal. One with Carrie Kelly, and you can kind of light it from the bottom. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure there's better ways to light it, but it's it's a nice piece to have. Cool. Um, what else? I got a surprise. I didn't tell you about this before. <laughs> I got a fucking basketball court. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why. I have a uh, what do I have? <laughs> Mayfix Michael Jordan. And, uh, oh. Yeah. So uh, this is from Fex. F-E-X-T, FEXT system. Uh-huh. Okay. And I, I ordered it from uh, one of the one of the big uh, online retailers. And, uh, yeah, it comes with this little court hmm. and whatever. I don't know. i got to figure out something to do with this. <clears throat> it's cool to have. It is cool to have because, uh, I mean, you don't have to have Jordan playing basketball. You can have anybody no. playing basketball. No. Um, yeah, actually, I don't know if you saw Jason B. Michael. He he did a, a basketball uh, picture just yesterday with uh, the Michael Jordan and uh, Miles Morales. So that turned out pretty cool. Yeah. 
I love how he just literally used his, you know, his, his di table, dining room <laughs> table. And I mean, <laughs> yeah. And it looks like the hardwood, you know, basketball court. <laughs> just like golly. Um, I got this Hulk 20th oh. anniversary Marvel Legends 20th anniversary Hulk. Um, but it's the same body. If you have the, the re other recent Marvel Legends Hulk, the same body, which is it's a good body. But the thing about this one, I don't know if you could see it because I'm not holding the figure right. It has a nice paint job all throughout. Hmm. There's a lot of shading and, and stuff over here. Some people complain he doesn't have a neck, but whatever. It's the whole thing. <laughs> you, you know, do whatever. But, um, yeah, it, it looks really nice. Paul Harden head sculpt came out really cool. Oh, no. very cool. <clears throat> and I have the other two, the uh, 20th anniversary Cap and Iron Man. And they're, they're, they're pretty good, too. Uh, that see. is one thing I'm missing is an, a good incredible hulk figure dude you need that uh diamond select that that'll you won't need anything else after that really yeah um have i shown this before this guy i don't know i can't remember it's been a while but okay it's been a, yeah yeah <clears throat> um this piece of shit literally <laughs> it's, it's cool to have right like the elbows like don't move i put heat i put uh shock oil they just don't move you know yeah um but god damn it it takes good pictures i think you know right and once you know there's a there's a rubber piece here in the middle that you kind of have to straighten out once i got that straightened out i like the figure better what I was really surprised with was how well his hips were articulated. It's almost like, yeah, you can do a kick. <laughs> yeah, but um, he's a little top heavy. But you're yeah. right; he does really uh, capture well on on a camera. That's, that's the other thing is like how many. There's not a lot of clay face figures, so. Yeah, you see it, you gotta grab it. Um Mafex uh endgame Captain America. Okay. Broken Shield. Great likeness, great Chris Evans likeness. <laughs> um mine had a problem with the arm, with the right arm when I bought it. Uh it wasn't staying in the peg. And I don't know, one day I just jammed it up in there and it's uh that's what she said. Uh, it's been fine ever since. So yeah, That's... this is a, you know, the, a great Chris Evans Captain America. And you have the. It comes with the Thor hammer. Uh, yeah, it comes with the hammer effect and um, three I head sculpts. Have... Yeah, it's really, it's really awesome. I like <clears throat> this one, the where he's like rotating the hammer to give you that effect. The only problem with that is is that the the uh, the effect piece is heavy, so it kind of pulls them over. Mm. I can see that, yeah. Yeah, and um, they actually are using the same piece for. They're doing a comic book Thor, so they're going to reuse that same effect piece. For so, is that a piece that you put in hand, or is that a hand all one piece? No, it's a piece that you put in hand. Yeah. Okay, so you can use it with any figure then. Yeah, basically, yeah. Oh. Like, uh, I don't know, Superman. Superman. Michael Jordan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's worthy. <laughs> um, and this uh, this week I got um, no, is it this week? Jigsaw. Okay. The the Punisher's uh nemesis or whatever. Yeah. And he came with a bunch. I mean, it's it's the basic suited uh, body, the suited Marvel Legends. You and I have like tons of them. Mm -hmm. But he came with a ton of accessories. He's got this little horse collar thing going on in here. Uh, the shotgun with two smoke effects. Two of these knives. Mm -hmm. um, see the other knife there. A machete baseball bat and two uh whatever mu muzzle players yeah yeah muzzle blast. really so yeah 
Um, yeah, I mean, shit, it was really cool. And how much was that? <laughs> it was, uh, you know, 25 plus shipping and stuff from Walgreens. But, um, yeah, really, you know, I was really happy with it, you know, for a basic suited body figure. And I think they did a great job on the head sculpt. I'm not sure who sculpted this, this one, but, um. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, they did a good job. I didn't even know they made that guy. You would, uh, yeah, you, you would definitely be happy with that. And, uh, I have some stuff to unbox. I don't know if you want to get started on that. Or... Yeah, let's do it. All right. Um, give me a second to move this camera. Okay. Set up. I have two things to unbox. I think this is the first time we unbox on yeah. G and G. Absolutely. First time. <laughs> I was gonna do it on IG Live, and then I just never got around to it. Never a good time for anything, but um, let's do it here. Got to get this tripod to cooperate. And off. I'll edit all this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, all right. How do I turn this camera around? Camera. <laughs> camera. There we go. All right. All right. Let's see. There we go. Cool. Let's the lens. Technical difficulties. Much better. All right. Let's see. Did you get this set? The police station? Uh, the police mm -hmm. station and Batman and Two Face. No, I didn't. Okay. Let's see. All right, get set and then we'll start it. All right, so we're looking at the front of the box, the spring art. Face strikes again. And it comes with two separate boxes. All right. There we go. Batman and Two Face. Wow, those boxes look great. Yeah, nice artwork. Let's see the Dark Knight. I wonder if this is something they're going to do going forward, you know. Artist interpretation could be. I mean, um, um, I think a Neil Adams one would do great. Neil Adams, Norm Brayfogle. Yeah. All right. There he is. It's been a while since I opened the Mexico. Mesco has done close to 30 releases in the last year, and only seven of them have been non-Rumble Society. This being one of the seven. So, yeah, they've, been, uh, they've been holding out on us. <laughs> Let's 
it it makes you wonder if there is some type of I don't want to say embargo or some type of like interference with like the DC product ones, but yeah, it seems like the DC ones keep getting pushed back later and later. Yeah. And it, I don't know if it has to do with any of the company merger stuff or just the production and all the soft goods being delayed. Who knows? But I, yeah, you know, people talk about shipping containers and, and, you know, COVID got bad again over in China, right? Uh, right. For, you know, they've been, I don't know if they're still on lockdown. I know they went back on lockdown. But um, I don't know. You know, uh, other companies seem to be putting stuff out uh, at a you know pretty, pretty good clip. I I get emails from um, one toy retailer, and they talk about you know the the Valiverse, yeah, figures, and they're like, they've arrived, but they're literally sitting on a boat, you know, on a boat. Yeah thousands hundreds of thousands of containers just waiting to be unloaded oh, no. and they don't have an expected date of when they're going to be unloaded. And that series one yeah that is series one so right. this is this is a beautiful figure and the well, be gentle don't break him because you know you're prone to uh, snapping no. so you got a wired cape wired cape and it feels like Almost velvety, velvet. <laughs> yeah, I really like it. I wish they did the, uh, you know, what they did with the whatever Supreme Knight, you know, the two capes and whatever. But you know, oh, whatever. okay, yeah. Um, yeah, this is cool. I dig it. Hmm. <clears throat> what accessories? Can we see some of the accessories? Oh, it's got some. Um, alternate heads, the cowl, of course, which is really cool. I like that, a lot of companies are doing that. I always wanted that as a kid. Um, some batarangs. Check out the Bruce Wayne head. I can get it out. And, and I can't get it out. Oh, that's not happening. There's the base. Man, there's a bunch of shit in here. <laughs> inspiration. Batarang and punch effects. And I like the punch effects a lot. I haven't messed with those yet. So I'm going to give it a try. All right. Let's put that on the side. And, uh, Crack open his toothpaste. See what he's about. This is the toothpaste I really wanted. This colorway. Mm -hmm. And I already have the toothpaste weapons that they sold separately. Um, I forget a double or nothing weapons pack or something. Right. And there it is. Very Harvey, cool. Harvey, Harvey. Which I don't understand. I mean, the Harvey Dent head is useless with the Two Face body, I think. I know, and they did that with the last Two Face release. Twice, yeah. I mean, you know, it's not, I don't know. Just whatever in your little action figure world, you could do what you want, right? Right. You can say, "Oh, this is cool. I didn't, I didn't know about this." Oh, that doesn't come out. That's a dynamite. Yeah, but still, it's cool. Mm -hmm. Seal it in here. Yeah. That'll be good for something. And it comes with a bunch of knives and uh, coins and whatever. 
Two Face logo. But yeah, I definitely like the purple and the orange. Yeah, Two it, different shoes. It pops on the lens, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Which I mean, the other Two Face was a, a great figure as well. So I, I definitely right. enjoyed that one. Now um, I didn't I didn't get this set, but you're definitely giving me the FOMO. <laughs> and I got one more. Uh, this is another McFarlane. Oh, very cool. Meredith, Meredith Penguin. And, um, these uh, these figures are nice, but they're light on the accessories. Yeah. Unfortunately, he does not come with an umbrella. It's kind of funny, to be honest. Right. I mean, that's a great sculpt. Let's see how they look together. That could work. Yeah, that works. Does the head? No, the head does go up. But yeah. yeah, but he's a penguin, so he's shorter than Batman. Yeah, that works. Yeah. What about Eartha? How does she scale Where with? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Let's see. I hope she stands up because she has heels. That works. Yeah, I think they scale well. The surface is uneven, but um, yeah, I think that works. The bat and the cat. <laughs> yeah, dude, you could totally make some uh, the Batman yeah. reference photos with that. No articulation in the head and the neck area. That's a little disappointing, but uh, yeah, otherwise you can make it work. And I found somewhere in my collection, I found an umbrella, so I can give it to this guy. Mm, okay. And the monocle is a separate plastic piece. Yeah. Cool. And it comes with these little punch effects, which I have no use for, but I'm sure somebody is. Now, wait, could you use those punch effects with your new Mezco? I don't know. Let's see. I mean, it, I know it. Um, yeah, you can. So, yeah, they both come with the punch effects. So, but yeah, you can definitely do that. <clears throat> Did I put Two Face away? Yeah, I put Two Face away. Two Face never appeared on the '66 show. No, unfortunately. No. Let's see how they look all together. I'm not uh collecting these '66 figures because I have the Mattel version. But uh, yeah, just got these two. Obviously, the again the Eartha kit. They didn't make her for Mattel. And, um, yeah, I mean, it totally works. So, well, he's a little, he looks a little bigger than that. But, yeah, I dig it. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> with, with the right placement in a photo, definitely you could have a gang, especially with that, uh, police station diorama you got there. Yeah. Good job, Mesco. <laughs> this was a recent pre-order. It was only, you know, maybe two months ago, I think. Or yeah, they got this out quick. Fairly recent. So I'm going to shut this down. <clears throat> Turn the camera around. And uh yeah, 89 Batman is still <laughs> we're still waiting for him. Okay. 
I'm being told that um, Louis right at, right behind that door crying. Yeah, yeah. Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to see the new fix. Yeah, he doesn't. He has that fear of miss, being fear of missing <laughs> out as well. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, well, that's really face. cool, man. Nice. And this fucking two face. I think he could work with the modern figures as well. Right. Now, you know, the, the normal head, is that the same as the one that came before? I don't think so. I don't oh, think okay. So. Well, obviously not if it's yeah. based on Dick Spring art. The body is good. The joints are moving with no problem. Very nice. Um... So yeah, speaking of Mesco, do you have uh they had a, a, a pre order put up today? I don't know if we have any pictures, but uh yeah, they put up the uh who was it? Green Goblin, right? Yeah. Well and to introduce the Green Goblin, of course you gotta show why. Yeah. He was shown in their pre-order of Spider-Man. Yeah. And, you know, when they showed that, everyone was like, first question was like, oh, when's Green Goblin coming out? Yeah. <laughs> um, and these are kind of like the the Batman Two-Face there. Um, these are like the classic comic versions of these characters, yeah. which makes it really cool. Um, He's dead cool. Yeah. Steve did go and you've got him on his glider and he comes with all the, he comes with a frog bomb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't remember him using that, but he must have cause they're, they're taking these poses that's straight out of the comic book. Right. Yeah. Like I said, uh, I think text you earlier, that's a very Stan Lee kind of weapon, but, um, you know, he comes with five different heads. Yeah. Look at all the different hands. Um, you get the glider. You get I some know. cool uh, smoke jet propulsion effects. And just a whole assortment of weapons Classic, and accessories. Uh, yeah. Purse or satchel or whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah. And even the, you know, the unmasked. Yeah, it's um. I'm a huge, you know, Spider Man is my Marvel guy, and I I I think Green Goblin is drastically uh, underrepresented in the action figure. You know, he's he's effectively you know Spider Man's Joker, right? Um, right. So yeah, I'm really excited about this figure. <clears throat> and did you also go ahead and get the the Spider Man? Yeah, I did. I'm a sucker for Spider Man. <laughs> Speaking of Spider Man, there was also another um, release, and that was the Marvel Legends version of the. Uh, oh. What was that? The. Toei, toy company, yeah. Japanese version. Spider Man or something. Yeah, I mean, and now you remember the, uh, the late seventies U.S. TV series, right? Yes, yeah. That I love that TV series. Me too, and at, man. <laughs> and at first, when I they showed this on um, Hasbro Pulse, I thought it was this version. You know that. Yeah. That version, but no, it was um, the Toei Japanese version instead oh, of yeah. the uh, yeah. 
instead of the Nicholas Hammond version. Oh, but they're so, I mean, actually, I mean, they kind of look almost exactly yeah. alike. What's funny about that Japanese um, series, it wasn't even like Marvel property. No. Um, and uh, he doesn't fight the villains, and I think he uses guns. And, and he it's like. It's really weird. Yeah, he has like. Um, I'm just going off what little research I did on him. He like. Kind of like in true. Um, almost like a live version of an anime. I think he has. He can. He has like a giant robot that he um uses and supposedly yeah. like you know the wristband is what changes him into the spider-man suit and that's also oh, okay. you know shoots the webs and it, i mean it's like his utility belt which I, I thought was which always i always thought was cool in the nicholas hammond tv series because yeah. he actually sometimes wore a utility belt and he always had yep. his wristband you know yeah uh, fingers crossed we get that version too. They someday. don't even have I don't think they even have the rights to the to the show, which is why it's not on DVD or you know streaming or anything. Hmm. It's like in limbo. There's one account I, I follow that is uh, I don't know 70 Spider-Man or something and, and uh, he's trying to like uh, you know, update the, the. What am I trying to say? You know, he's just trying to update the images and the image quality and, and shit like mm -hmm. that on his own. I think. But um, yeah, it's something with the rights. It's it's really weird. I don't know who owns that seventies show, but it's uh, Marvel can't do anything with it at the moment. So. And I'm going off memory. I don't think. Stan Lee even liked the show because he didn't uh, fight the Marvel villains. Yes. Yeah. He was just kind of busting up gangs and drug people. Yeah. And... yeah. It, it was really weird. There was <laughs> ninjas. There was, he was in the West, I think, one time. Yeah. He went, he went all around the world. Yeah. Because this was a more, grown up peter parker yeah wasn't he like a journalist at this point yeah yeah he, yeah, was, he wasn't yeah. just a kid no he wasn't nerdy peter parker <laughs> um but uh I, I did wanna... you pre-order that uh japanese spider-man yes. i passed on it oh okay cool yeah all right yeah i wanted it um and i'm still <laughs> Still looking at that Mezco version. I'm oh, just yeah, but I'm just concerned that um, the suit. I don't know because Spider Man, you know, he's got to be like be able to move like the Spider Man where yeah. he's like he's got to be real bendy, right? And I'm just scared that the suit won't hold up. The suit from my first Mesco Spider-Man has held up for me. I took it out a couple of months ago, um, so then it was still good. Hmm. But I I store my Mescos like I keep them in the boxes, right? With that silica gel, and right. I don't know if that helps to absorb some of the moisture or, or whatever. But I haven't had, you know, knock on wood, I haven't had any um, issues yet. Right, and you keep yours out of light, and yeah. Obviously, it probably kind of helps that they're in the basement where it's a little cooler. Yeah, I see a lot of guys that have theirs all lined up on shelves, and I'm like, "Good luck." I know. You know yeah. Don't complain yeah. when their suits fade, or I've even seen some where the Batman gray suits turn brown. Oh, I know. And they have to end up dyeing them. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm like you. I keep mine boxed up. I've only had one 
figure suit like literally disintegrate on me and it was i know who the mutant leader yep which kind of looked cool because it looked like his clothes were battle damaged yeah but then i mean after just kind of posing him i mean his pants literally just fell off and it did suck i was i was very disappointed but it was an easy fix because i just found some black pants off ebay and put them right on him and he's fine yeah i don't need the you know the latex leather look although that's what he wears in the comic i just need some black pants yeah and easy fix i'm fine with it uh, i don't have that figure i never got it really no you have and the I don't DK- think it... what's that you have the dkr batman i do yeah i have uh three versions um so what is it not not what the black the navy and then the whatever powder blue hmm. I don't have any of those, you know, fancy ones. Uh, <laughs> the Puerto Rican one or the black and white one. I don't have those. It used to be where you could get the mutant leader still at retail. Yeah, yeah. Um, but here recently he's been going up. Hmm. I I think maybe a lot of people use him to customize. Do you have the, uh, the, the box set? With the battle damage, mm. okay, yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, really cool set. Really cool set, and you know, again, another figure that I never thought would see the light of day being made. Mm. But as soon as they announced it, I remember I was in Las Vegas when they when that dropped, trying to order on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> It's frustrating enough just trying to go through Mezco on their website. Yeah. On a computer. On the phone, it was even worse. Yeah, can imagine. But, yeah. All right, man. Well, uh, thanks for doing the unboxing. That was our first yeah. unboxing. We yeah. do it again. I mean, we'll get better at it. Yeah. Uh, you know. I've never okay. done an unboxing because I've. I don't know. I, I don't know how. I don't have the camera set up to do it. Uh, let me tell you, like right now in, in fucking real time, it was tough because uh, I'm kind of particular when I take out my mesco and take the, you know, the the plastic out of the neck and right, you know, whatever. And I, I, I'm a weirdo. First of all, I'm I'm a fucking mess, like regular in everyday life. <laughs> but with my mescos, I put everything back the way it was. I put the tape back. I put, I'm fucking weirdo. I put the 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 wrap over the face and everything. So yeah, just now I was like, ah. <laughs> you you wear but, gloves. Yeah, I should. <laughs> I know people that do because they don't want to yeah. get their oil oily hands yeah. on on the cloth. I get it. Especially, uh, I saw people doing that with um, Moon Knight. Because I didn't want to okay. get the white figure dirty. Yeah, and I get that. I'm, I've got both of the Moon Knights, and the white is very bright. So yeah, you definitely don't want to get it dirty because it'd be hard to clean off that cloth. Because <clears throat> it, it's kind of like the Batman. It's got the cloth suit, but it's got on like the the vinyl where it looks like armor yeah yeah did you uh watch a tv show i did okay what'd you think mm. not enough moon night right not enough moon night yeah i mean i watched the show because i want to see the the moon night yeah, superhero shit. yeah i want to see the superhero i want to see the suit um yeah i mean there were like literally three episodes in the middle with no suit i was like this is not Moon Knight. This is more of a Mark know, and Steven. Mark and Steve <laughs> show. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, yeah. you know, what's his name? Oscar Isaac? Yeah. Did a great job. Oh yeah. Know. Yeah. 
really really great job i i read where a lot of british people didn't like his uh steven accent oh really yeah um that's okay though yeah it worked for me i i thought he uh, i thought his performance was great even um what's that ethan hawk i thought he was good too but um yeah i just wanted more superhero you know moon knight all right i wanted more superhero moon knight i wanted him i didn't want it in london i wanted i wanted him to be more is in the comic he's more new york right as far as I know, I haven't read too many Moon Knight comics. Okay. So. But that's my understanding, yeah. Yeah, because they're all based in New York. You guys have more crime than anybody, and you need <laughs> all the heroes. Bunch of heathens up there. <laughs> <laughs> Every corner's got a superhero garden that's yeah, blocked, you know. It's fucking hell. It could be safer, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it should be the safest city in the world. Yeah. No, it's the worst. <laughs> but um yeah i wanted kind of more of a comic grounded show um but disney's gonna do whatever disney's gonna do and i yeah. hope that they don't disneyfy the daredevil. daredevil i know yeah i know that they will <clears throat> i mean we're not we're not getting those brutal fight scenes that we've got in the netflix show that's mm-hmm. No, we're not going to get the kingpin head smashing. Yeah. They may work around it and still do that stuff, but have it kind of off screen. Yeah. But I don't know if we'll ever get anything like that. Um, It's just not Disney's MO. I pre-ordered the Moon Knight Marvel Legends from the TV show. Yeah. Now, I don't think that they're going to do season two, but I wouldn't be surprised if he shows up in like maybe a Daredevil series or Mm -hmm. are they going to redo the Punisher as well? I haven't heard anything about that, so I don't know. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if he shows up in any future MCU stuff. Yeah. Um, That would be interesting to see Punisher and all comic suit or something to that effect you know right with the white gloves and white boots at least for one episode or something that would be cool yeah that was my thing with the punisher too in that series he wasn't in the punisher suit that much i know yeah yeah and oh my god that he was just like he was just chasing around this trying to protect this girl character throughout the show i don't even remember her name but i was just like Uh. You know, it almost felt like um, she was just a token character to throw in there. Yeah. To humanize the Punisher in a way that shows, you know, he's actually a, a good guy. That um, that was a season two of the Punisher, right? Yeah, that one. I was just like, I can't wait for this to end. <laughs> um, yeah, that that was tough. That one. No. Punisher works great when he is kind of a nemesis with Daredevil. Yeah. He was great in season two of Daredevil. Yeah. Um, But on his own, I don't know. I mean, I like the Punisher series, but I didn't think it was that strong as as like the Daredevil. I don't know. I just hope we get a classic bullseye in the new series. Yes. Thank you. I mean, that's what they tease at the end of the final uh, Daredevil season three when they showed his pupil eyes. Yeah. And uh, we need we need bullseye in a true bullseye suit. Yeah. <clears throat> well, all right, man. Uh, yeah do this again sooner than later yeah no it's, it's, <laughs> it's gonna be um you know my my world is starting to return to normal so it's gonna that's good you know, yeah 
All right. Yeah. Well, I think that's going to work for us. This is yeah. Grumps and Gramps. Uh, please rate, subscribe, comment. Yeah. Um, all that good stuff. Five star rating. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. See you later.